I'm going to talk a little bit about what to expect um, on a day in clinic and also a little bit about what happens maybe before and after um, your actual appointment. And I know a lot of you will have been to our clinic, but for anyone particularly watching this recording back who might be new to the service, this might help you um, sort of learn what to expect. Um, so even before we meet you in clinic, um, there is a little bit that happens and a little bit of thought that goes into it. Um, so to start at the very beginning, um, we'll probably receive a referral. And as was mentioned earlier on, um, any GP or doctor in the UK can refer to this service. Um, it's an NHS highly specialised service and it has central funding. So we re receive um, referrals from GPs, doctors who might suspect you of symptoms of a channelopathy. That referral would then be triaged um, and it might be decided that you need a specific neurophysiology test, for example. And so we would book that even in advance of you coming to us um, to try and streamline the visit a little bit. Um, and then usually about the week before your clinic appointment, we'll have a team meeting. Um, and as we saw earlier, the team consists of a lot of members with um, specialty interests like the neurophysiology side of things, genetics, um, the physiotherapy, nurse specialists, the doctors and consultants. So we would all look through your case. If you're a new referral, we might look at the information that the GP or doctor has provided and try and come up with a plan um, and what might be important to discuss with you in clinic. If you're a follow-up patient, um, we might discuss some of the results that might have come back since we've last seen you um, or any communication you or your GP might have had with us in the meantime since your last appointment. We would discuss that as a team and try and come up with solutions. Then on the day, so this slide does look a bit busy because as some of you might know, you might have a lot of different things um, all in the same day. And the idea behind that is, especially if you're traveling from far away, that the clinic day would be sort of a, a one-stop shop. If you're more local um, to London, it might be that you have some of these things on different days. Um, so you might find that even before you meet the specialist doctor, you might have your neurophysiology test, which we spoke about earlier. So that they would be the little electrical pulses and the needle test. And then you might see your doctor, or it might happen the other way around, depending on the day. You might also see um, Sarah, a neurophysiotherapist, who will talk to us a little bit more later on. An important thing that you might also have at this day, or most people will have, is a genetic blood test, um, unless you've had it before. And we'll hear a little bit more about the genetics next. You might also meet one of our research nurses if you'd like to take part in research, and they might go through some consent with you and let you take a pack home. And occasionally you might have an MRI scan the same day if you're traveling from particularly far away. So these, you might have all of these things or you might have just what's particular to you on that day. And then after we meet you, um, still, there's still more. Um, so we'll discuss everything again at another team meeting, um, particularly some of the neurophysiology results and genetic results, things like that, or any concerns you might have raised in the clinic which need the whole team's input. Um, as particularly if you're new or if you've started a new medication, you'll have touch base appointments um, with the nurse, one of our specialist nurses. And usually that's just a telephone call to check in on things. Um, and then they would liaise back with the team if there's any concerns or if you need letters, for example, anesthetic letters, um, if you need support letters or if you need to be guided to your local um, services for grants, charities, things like that. Um, we would discuss all of that with you over the phone. You might also be referred to our neurophysiotherapist. Um, and usually that would be a video appointment from the comfort of your own home. It could be a telephone appointment or sometimes um, you might come in to see Sarah. Um, we also have some very helpful Pilates videos on YouTube, which we might guide, to, guide you to later on. Um, and of course, we have a lot of more information on our website, the channelopathy.nhs.uk, where you can also see our patient information leaflet a lot of information about exercise, diet, things like that. Um, and what I haven't listed here, of course, is the functional expression that we mentioned. That might, if you have a genetic variant that we haven't seen before, we might do further testing to try and figure that one out. So a lot of that might happen without you even knowing. 